After the Supreme Court's decision, Alabama acted swiftly to begin enforcing its abortion ban in most cases. And meanwhile, women are stocking up on emergency contraception. Some say they are scared that that too might be banned from pharmacies in the future. Mariah Wiggs tells us how this national surge in sales is affecting pharmacies here in North Alabama. Walmart, CVS, and Amazon are some of the distribution companies that have limited how many emergency contraceptives customers can buy. After Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas suggested the court reconsider the case protecting access to contraceptives, sales skyrocketed. With big name pharmacies overstocking to keep up with the surge in demand, smaller local pharmacies are left with little supplies. Uh, we did go and look on our database where we order our prescriptions and the plan B's are no longer available. Pharmacy technician Jennifer Potts says their shelves are just about empty. Potts says women seeking contraceptives at their location might have to find another form of birth control if supplies run out. That means that the other stores that have a younger clientele are actually over ordering. So even if we wanted to get something, we wouldn't be able to get any. Commonly known as the morning after pill, Plan B, or Aftera, these contraceptives are not used to perform abortions or terminate pregnancies. Experts say they are best used to prevent pregnancy after unprotected sex or going several days without taking birth control. Rite Aid is limiting its purchases to three per customer. CVS says it has ample supply of emergency contraceptives to meet the needs of their customers. The company is in the process of adjusting the short-lived purchase limits. In Huntsville, I'm Mariah Wiggs, News 19. And Walmart also plans to adjust their limitations on morning-after pills once demand ties down.